Fashion's biggest companies are talking about environmental and social responsibility more than ever before. But is anything actually changing? The BOF Sustainability Index tracks how the industry is progressing to avoid catastrophic climate change and reach broader social imperatives. The index examines six key areas where fashion needs to focus its efforts. Waste, water and chemicals, workers' rights, materials, emissions and transparency and benchmarks how the industry's biggest companies measure up. While there are pockets of innovation and progress, across the board fashion is falling short and there is still much work to be done. Transparency. The fashion industry is systemically opaque. Fashion's global and extended supply chains are murky. Most brands don't know where the raw materials they use are made. This allows human rights abuses to go undetected and makes it difficult to measure and mitigate pollution and other environmental damage. Companies can employ new technologies to help increase transparency and streamline supply chains to make them easier to monitor and manage. More work is also needed to establish high-quality, verified environmental data. Emissions. The fashion industry is one of the most potent polluters on the planet. The industry's greenhouse gas emissions are estimated to be between 4 and 10 percent of the global total. Without significant intervention in the next decade, the industry will continue to contribute considerably to the climate crisis. Much of fashion's impact takes place in the manufacturing supply chain, outside of companies' direct control. That means active collaboration and co-investment with manufacturers is needed, as well as engagement at the policy level to encourage a shift to greener energy sources. Water and chemicals. Fashion is a thirsty and dirty industry, and momentum to eliminate hazardous chemicals and reduce water pollution is stalling. Producing raw materials like cotton and manufacturing fabrics and clothes can require high volumes of water and hazardous and toxic chemicals, contributing to pollution, drought, and desertification. Fashion companies need a more sophisticated approach to water and chemicals, including context-based water targets and a real understanding of their chemical footprint. This will help focus research into cleaner, greener chemistry and more water-efficient production. Materials. The fashion industry's raw materials rely on an extractive model. Most clothes are made using fossil fuels. Oil-based polyester is the most commonly used fabric in the world. Fashion's second favorite fiber is cotton, a product with a complicated environmental footprint whose links to modern slavery are deeply problematic. Reuse and recycling of existing materials isn't yet happening at scale, but is a big opportunity for improvement. Growing interest in regenerative agriculture, which seeks to restore soil health and biodiversity, also offers avenues to address this issue over the long term. Workers' Rights the fashion industry runs on systemic inequality and social injustice. The modern, mass-market, speed-obsessed and globalized fashion system has created convoluted and unequal supply chains, plagued by labor abuses, only made worse by the coronavirus pandemic. Fashion needs a new social contract that gives power to workers' voices, advocates for more robust labor regulation, and ensures purchasing practices support equitable working conditions and living wages. Waste. Fashion feeds a culture of wasteful overconsumption. As fashion trends move faster, consumers are buying more clothes and wearing them for shorter periods of time, leading to waste. Every year, roughly 40 million tons of textile waste is sent to landfill or incinerated. There are creative opportunities to turn fashion's trash piles into valuable resources. Alternative business models like resale and rental are only just beginning to get off the ground with companies talking more about circularity than they are actually embracing it. And going forward, technological solutions such as waste repurposing and recycled material development need more investment.